in YouTube, now that we have our recoil pad fit to the stock, it's now time for us to install our sling swivel studs. These are stapled together, so let me get that open. Studs you can pick up at any sporting goods store, online, Amazon, Academy, I think even you can get them at Walmart. Let me show you what it is. And this little doodad just allows you to attach a sling, it allows you to attach a um, bipod if you want to do that. And it's just two different size of threaded two different sizes of threads. This one goes in the rear, the other goes in the floor. You drill a hole, thread it in there. It has a little rubber washer that you can use to make sure you get it tight and aligned properly. So let's do that. Okay, to kind of figure out where I want these, I'm using the original stock that came with my rifle. You can see that it's got the slings already in place. That one is about right here. About an inch up. I'm going to do about two inches up from the recoil pad. And this one, I think I'm going to do an inch down from my forend tip. Now I've just got to mark the center and drill the holes. So I'm going to use painter's tape again. This way I can mark on the stock and not mess up the finish. So we'll do like this. That's good. 2.1 to 1.5 is about center. So I've got two, one inch right there should be center. So now I'll just flip this around, see if it lines up to be the same. A little bit off. see if you can see that. Whoa! See these two little marks right in the center of that is where I'm going to punch to drill out. So I just got my little center punch, align and then use my eyeball to make sure that looks good. Looks good. Can't go back now. So I've got my center punch right there. We're going to do the same thing on the stock. So we're going to do it about right here. That's where I want my thing. If I come One thing with stuff like this is trust your eyes. I mean, don't solely rely on them, but trust your eyes. This is kind of guesswork here. So I laid my punch down right here and that looks about right so punch it and too late to change my mind I just put a big dent in the stop okay based on my visual observations a 532nd drill bit looks about right for this it needs to be about that deep so we're just going to tape it off better go a little bit deeper than not deep enough Especially since this is just a flat head. So I'm actually going to go about an eighth inch too far. It looks a little off center on camera, but I think it's just the glare because whenever I'm looking at it, it looks centered to me. So I've got my thing with this little rubber washer. And I think the hole's big enough. So I'm just going to start slowly threading it in. Hmm. No, I think I'm going to have to go one size up. I have kind of decided that paste wax is about the most useful thing you can have in your shop. I use it on everything. Yeah, see, that's, that's better. I'm happy with that. That's where we 
want it. And you can just wipe off the extra wax. So that is how you install sling swivel studs. Just rub the wax into the gun stop. And now I have studs for attaching a sling whenever I finally get around to getting a nice sling. So then I've got this little cheapy one right here that came on the original gun stop. Thanks for watching.